Hi everybody, for today we're going to discuss about Skeletal System. Yes, this is going to be a very brief and thorough review about our Skeletal System. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nia Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational contents to help students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational contents two to three times in a week, so don't miss it out. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, you ready? Let's do this. For today, we're gonna have Human Anatomy. Yes, sisimulan natin itong ating series sa ating channel kung saan we're going to discuss about anatomy and physiology. I promise you guys to make it short and quick and to give you the most important information that you need to remember para matulungan ka sa pagre-review mo ng ating Human Anatomy. We're gonna start this series with Skeletal System. I'm gonna give you the brief overview and the things that you need to remember when it comes to our Skeletal System. And in order for me to do that, I will switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, hi everybody. Welcome back nga sa ating formal discussion ng skeletal system. Be to watch out for the upcoming anatomy and physiology discussion natin ha? Because we're gonna have a series of review about anatomy and physiology. And of course, please consider checking the description box because I'll be providing some of the helpful links. So let me give you the objectives for our today's discussion. We're going to discuss about skeletal divisions, define bone, cartilage, and skeletal system, list and describe the functions of the skeletal system, classification of bones according to shape, and we're going to have a short quiz later on. All right, let's begin. What is the skeletal system? The human skeletal system consists of all the bones, cartilage, tendons, and ligaments in the body. Altogether, the skeleton makes up about 20% of a person's body weight. An adult skeleton contains 206 bones. Children's skeleton actually contain more bones because some of them, including those of the skull, fuse together as they grow up. There are some differences in the male and female skeleton. The male skeleton is usually longer and has a high bone mass. The female skeleton, on the other hand, has a broader pelvis to accommodate for pregnancy and childbirth. Regardless of age or sex, skeletal system can be broken down into two parts. Mamaya pag-aaralan natin yun, ha? Alright, so we're gonna discuss about skeletal divisions. Ito na ang ating actual and appendicular. May idea ka na ba? Okay, let's proceed. When we talk about actual skeleton, I want you to to think about the center of the body. Actual skeleton consists of the bones of the skull, ossicles of the middle ear, hyoid bone, vertebral column, and rib cage. The actual skeleton consists of 80 bones in total. This is formed by the vertebral column, which has 32 to 34 bones. The number of the vertebrae differs from human to human, mind you guys, as the lower two parts, sacral and coccygeal bone, may vary in length. 12 pairs of rib cage and the sternum and the skull, 22 bones and 7 associated bones. Okay, appendicular skeleton, you guys. The human appendicular skeleton is composed of the bones of the upper limbs and lower limbs, the pectoral girdle, and the pelvic girdle. The pectoral girdle acts as the point of attachment of the upper limbs to the body. The upper limb consists of the arm, the forearm, and the wrists, and the hand. The pelvic girdle is responsible for bearing the weight of the body and responsible for locomotion. It is also responsible for attaching the lower limbs to the body. The lower limbs include including the thighs, legs, and feet support the entire weight of the body and absorb the resulting forces from locomotion. Bones na makapatatagbaan mo sa kamay, sa braso, sa hita, sa paa ng yung pasyente. That's your appendicular. Okay, so let's have definition of terms. A bone is a rigid organ that consists part of the vertebrae skeleton in animals. Bones protect the various organs of the body, produce red and white blood cells, store minerals, provide structure and support for the body, and enable mobility. Mamaya mas tatalakayin natin yung function niyan. Next, what is cartilage, you guys? This is a resilient and smooth elastic tissue and rubber-like padding that covers and protects
affects the ends of the long bones at the joints and nerves and is a structural component of the rib cage, the ear, the nose, and bronchial tubes, intervertebral discs, and many other body components. One of the major functions of your cartilage is to prevent friction of two bones. Para siyang insulator, siya yung lalo yung mga padding sa dulo ng mga long bones natin, yung sa femur natin. Makakakita ka doon ng mga cartilage. Ano pa? Sa ilong, di ba? Mostly yung ilong at yung tenga natin is consist of cartilage. Next, the skeletal system is the body system composed of bones and cartilage and performs the following critical functions for the human body. The human skeleton is the internal framework of the human body. It is composed of around 270 bones at birth. This total decreases to around 206 bones by adulthood after some bones get fused together. The bone mass in the skeleton reaches maximum density around age 21. So these are the functions. Support the body, facilitates movement, protects internal organs, produces blood cells, stores and releases minerals and fat. Support movement and protection, one of the major functions of our skeletal system. The most apparent function of the skeletal system are the gross functions, those visible by observation. Simply by looking at a person, you can see how the bones support, facilitate movement, and protect the human body. Bones also facilitate movement by serving as points of attachment for your muscles. While some bones only serve as support for the muscle, others also transmit the forces produced when your muscle contracts. From a mechanical point of view, bones act as levers and joints serve as fulcrums. Unless muscles bands a joint and contract, bone is not going to move. What else? Bones also protect internal organs from injury by covering or surrounding them. For example, your ribs protect your lungs and heart, the bones of your vertebral column, your spine, protect your spinal cord, and the bones of your cranium or your skull protect your brain. Now, mineral storage, energy storage, and hematopoiesis. On a metabolic level, bone tissue performs several critical functions. For one, the bone matrix acts as a reservoir for a number of minerals important to the functioning of the body, especially calcium and phosphorus. These minerals incorporated into bone tissue can be released back into the bloodstream to maintain levels needed to support physiologic processes. Calcium ions, for example, are essential for muscle contraction and controlling the flow of other ions involved in the transmission of nerve impulses. Bone also serve as a site for fat storage and blood cell production. A softer connective tissue that fills the inferior of most bone is referred to as bone marrow. Guys, familiar sa bone marrow, major function ng ating bone marrow dito nagagana ang production ng ating mga blood cells. Ano ano yung mga blood cells natin? Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. These are all produced sa ating red marrow, okay? Now, there's actually two types of bone marrow, you guys. You have your yellow bone marrow and your red marrow. Ano ang function ng ating yellow marrow? This contains adipose tissue. The triglycerides stored in the adipose sites of the tissue can serve as source of energy. Red marrow, like I said, this is where hematopoiesis, the production of blood cells, takes place. Next, classification of bones according to shape. So let's discuss each. We have long bone. Good example nito ang yung humerus of arm or yung ating femur. Now, when we talk about long bones, these are typically longer than they are wide. As a rule, they have a shaft with heads at both ends and are mostly compact bone. Short bones, you guys. Ito. Good example, carpal of wrists. Generally cube-shaped and mostly contain spongy bone or yung sesamoid bones, which forms within tendons. These are special type of short bones, you guys. Flat bone. Good example, sternum. Flat bones are thin, flattened, and usually curved. They have two thin layers of compact bone sandwiching a layer of spongy bone between them. Next, irregular bone. Good example, your vertebra. Bones that do not fit one of the preceding categories are called what? Irregular bones. Now, we're going to discuss about type of osseous or bone tissue. Now, compact bone, ito siya. Compact bone is dense and looks smooth and homogeneous. Makikita mo naman siya dito, di ba? They are very compact and they're very smooth, meaning sick-sick. Spongy bone is composed of long, needle-like, spore-like pieces of bone and lots of open spaces. Kaya mukha siyang sponge. Kaya tinawag siya na spongy bone kasi pag makakita mo, parang mga butas-butas na sponge bab. Ganon. Okay, so we have classification of bones according to bone tissue. You have your sponge Spongy bone and compact bone. Wag malilito sa classification of bones according to shape, ha? Next. Ay, tapos na pala tayo. Ito na tayo sa ating short quiz, you guys. So, I'm give you 5 minutes and uh, 10 minutes items. And then, babalik ako sa inyo after 5 minutes. Magda-rationalize tayo. Here we go.
comments that how was the quiz you guys enjoyed the quiz let me know how on how you find this exam okay let's start answering these questions question number one which function of the skeletal system would be especially important if you were in a car accident the answer b logical thinking natin kailangan natin protection of internal organs all of these are functions of your skeletal system but when you are involved in a car accident you want to protect your internal organs and that's exactly what skeletal one of the major functions of your skeletal system is organ protection okay question number two bone tissue can be described as what is the answer to this letter d dense hard and connective tissue period number three without red marrow bones would not be able to the answer is letter c make blood cells why because red marrow cell. we have our bone tissue we have yellow and red what's the function of your red it is production of your blood cells what's the function of your yellow bone marrow it is for what at deposits so red marrow bones would not be able to what make blood cells ano na yung mga blood cells natin rbc wbc and platelets next yellow marrow has been identified as the answer to this is number four a an area for fat storage number five which of the following can be found in areas of movements the answer to this is cartilage number six the skeletal system is made up of what the answer to this question is b bones and cartilage how many bones are in human body the answer is 206 kapag adult na tama the actual skeleton is comprised of what actual actual tayo binanggit ko to kanina anong sagot dito you guys 80 which of the following is part of the actual skeleton actual actual shoulder thigh bone foot vertebral column isipin mo lang actual skeleton center axis so vertebral column sure false bones serve as a site for fat storage and blood cell production the answer is true all right you guys that that was the quiz how is it let me know what's your score on the comment section below okay thank you so much you guys for watching this video hope you learned something please like share and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational contents okay if you do have other anatomy and physiology discussion that you want me to create for you let me know on the comment section below i'll see you guys again next time you stay safe thank you so much you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this one help me grow my channel you're already here baby you might as well subscribe hashtag team kuto give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends let me know what you guys think put them down in the comment section below also don't forget to check out the other playlists i created for you by putting the links on the description box or simply click the second button right here let's connect follow me on all my other social media accounts everything is at near gabby i'll see you again baby